Hi everybody and welcome to the Chagrin Falls Highlands. My name is Shannon Welsh and I am the cheese monger here at the store. We are very excited to be melting some Reclet cheese for you today. Um, and I am joined by my dear friend Robert from one of our vendors, Chef to Chef. And he is going to demonstrate how we melt Reclet and the types of products that we use to go with Reclet and give you a little bit of a history about why Reclet is such a cool cheese. So welcome Robert, thanks for joining me. This is gonna be fun. Well, thank you for having me. So a little bit about Reclet. Reclet is a washed rind cheese that was originally produced in the French speaking areas of uh, Switzerland. Um, this Reclet is seasonally produced, that's what makes it special. This is called Reclet de Montagne. It's only available from the end of September to the first week of April. Um, this kind of accentuates the, the qualities of seasonally produced milk. You can imagine in the Alpine valleys of France and Switzerland, these animals are feeding on wild flowers yes. and grasses on mountain ranges and plateaus. Um, and it is uh, less robust than the uh, reclets that you can get year round. Um, it has a very delicate flavor. The nuances of that seasonal milk really come through. Yes. But it's amazing. Even through the mask, I can smell it, and it smells <laughs> amazing. Um, typically, the, the commercially produced reclets that you see year round um, tend to have a very barnyardy yeah. aroma. And it's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one is delicate and mild, as I said. Um, just, just a very classic. French application of this. Um, this machine is called uh, a uh, Reclinet, uh, or Reclinet melter. <laughs> well, thank you, Robert. So ordinarily, in regular times, we would be demoing Reclinet in all of our stores, but um, we are happy to do it virtually for you. And it's just as cool um, to go into your store and talk to your local cheesemonger about Reclinet and what pairs with it. But Robin is gonna show us how to melt it. So the term raclette comes from the French verb racle, which means to scrape. So Robert is gonna show you, um, we actually have a couple of different ways to melt raclette. Robert is gonna use this beautiful piece of equipment, which we don't expect most of you have in your home. So we're gonna teach you how you can do this at home as well. So Robert, I'm gonna turn it over to you and, and have you Dazzle everybody with how we don't reflect. Well, absolutely. Now, Shannon, what I always tell folks is that don't be intimidated by the machine. This is essentially a fancy toaster oven. Um, right. This is a radiant bar, so it's essentially a broiler or your toaster oven. Right. Um, this can be applied in many different ways. Um, traditionally, reclet is scraped over potatoes, either boiled or roasted. So I always mention, take your favorite potato recipe no matter what it is. Put a few slices on top, pop it under the broiler and the toaster, and voila, you have a wreck on it. Yes. Um, but if you really want to dazzle the folks with a good get together, there are many versions of wreck on it that you can buy mm -hmm. online or possibly talk to Shannon. <laughs> she might have some of them. But essentially, we're just going to spin this wheel, get a little closer to the heating element. And so the spinning, um, jacks it up. Yes, and Close there are other machines that operate differently. Sure. Um, but as I said, you could take any of your favorite potato recipes, put a few slices on top, put it under the boiler, and voila, it will essentially be the same thing. Sure. Um, okay. This usually takes about a minute or two. Once you start hearing bubbles and getting those wonderful aromas, you're off to the race. Yes. Okay, so. I have our red skin potatoes here, Robert, so whenever the cheese is ready, um, I'm sure they would love to have a reclet bath. Uh, but these are our roasted red skin potatoes that we serve right out of our gourmet case. Um, you can certainly make your own potatoes, as Robert said, however you like to prepare potatoes is terrific. This is just already done for you, so um, yeah, it's a little bit of added value there. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, you can hear the, the cheese starting to bubble and caramelize. Yes. Um, I like to get a little more color on that for depth of flavor. Uh -huh. um, just about two seconds and we should be ready to go. Now, you have to keep in mind there's a lot of fat in this cheese. So yes. if you go a little too long into the broiler, it may flame, but you can just pop it. Sure. Just smack it with a spatula. Okay. It'll go right out. I 
really wish you guys could smell this. Um, what is it that Emerald says he wishes you had smell a vision? Um, it just smells incredible. Oh, yeah. Think of your favorite casserole, cheesy casserole. Beautiful. Lovely. Oh, this is the best part. Look at that. It's ready to eat. So have you ever seen anything more beautiful than this? And so simple and such a hearty winter meal that is so easy to make at home. So I am going to show you all of the things that we sell in our stores that you can use for your own raclette tasting at home. So one of the main things you want to have besides potatoes is bread. Um, and of course we love baguettes, so I have, we have the mini baguettes, but we also have the long regular size baguette. This is perfect for two people if you're having a um, two-person romantic dinner with your raclette cheese and your pate. Uh, nothing says romance like pate. Um, but to the pate, uh, what we have here and on our plate is a pate di campagna. And what I really like about this is that it's very versatile. So for people who normally would turn their nose up at pate, think of a pate di campagna and it says it on the package. It's more of a meatloaf. So it's a coarser grind. So you would eat it more like you would a meatloaf. Um, we also have this Volpe Trio, which I really, really love for any charcuterie application because it comes with three meats. You have mortadella, Genoa salami, and coca. Um, and so it's perfect because you get a variety without having to spend a lot of money. Along the same lines with pate, I never thought I would like this pate. This gold medal pate from Schaller and Weber is delicious. So if you like a more spreadable pate, this is a mousse. Um, so you can look for any package that has the word mousse on it. So this will be very spreadable for your baguette and you can melt the raclette right over top. So I love that. We have our roasted red skin potatoes that we serve in our gourmet case. What I like to use at home, one of my favorite things are these peavy potatoes. So they're babies, as you can see in this bowl here, and they're tricolored. So it's very pretty and beautiful on a plate. What I love about those is they have a very crispy skin when they're roasted, and they're really creamy on the inside. They're terrific. And with cheese, you may not need anything else. Um, traditionally, in the mountains of France and in Switzerland, they serve raclette with what are called cornichons. You might know them as gherkins or baby pickles, but they are these little guys. And they're really delicious. Very crisp, sweet and sour, excellent with cheese. You know, that acid really helps cut through the fat of the pâtés. And your it blood. does. It does. It's a wonderful balance. Yeah, you almost need that because you have so much richness from pâté and then you've got the mortadella, and then you've got the creamy potatoes. You almost need those cornichons to, to um, cut that fat a little bit. Same with any kind of vegetable. We're showing our asparagus, which we also serve in our gourmet case. Um, super easy. Uh, really is just a vessel for getting the cheese in your mouth. And whoever <laughs> could get mad at that. So, that's our recommendation, but honestly, I mean, everything is delicious with melted cheese. Um, but I urge you to give this setup a try because, again, how beautiful is this? And it's just so simple. Look at that. Okay, so now that we've gone through the food pairings that go with raclette, we can't really talk about a French cheese without talking about wine. So I have chosen three wines and also beer because I happen to be a beer drinker and not everybody is a wine drinker. Um, and I'm just gonna go through some pairings, but certainly the world is your oyster when it comes to wine. This is a really friendly cheese. So it'll pair with a lot of different things. So whatever your favorite thing is to drink, 
have it with Riclet. So the first one I'm gonna show you is French. It's from the Savoie region. It's called Apremont. And what I really, really like about this, it's like what Robert and I were discussing with the cornichons, you need acid. So what I really like about the Apremont is that you get very lovely stone fruit notes, but also it's high in acid and minerality. So it really pairs beautifully with the funkiness that you get from the cheese. This is $14.99, so it's a great deal too. I, I have to say, I'm so glad that you brought the Apremont. That Jacare grape varietal has yes. done so well with this cheese, and it's from the same region yes. as this Reflet de Montagne. This is produced in the Haute Savoie. It is the most quintessential pairing of yes. this cheese. Yes. Uh, I, anyone at home would be delighted to put this together. Absolutely, cool. and it, it, it's a steal. So, yes, it is so a steal. I yeah. definitely encourage you to try that. So, if you wanted to stick with a wine from the United States. I love anything from Forest, which is in Oregon. This is their dry Gewürztraminer. It has a lot of the same types of notes as the Apremont. You get a lot of peach, um, but also a little bit of ginger. Uh, so there's just a hint of spice that really pairs nicely with the richness in the cheese. I love this wine. It is so easy to drink. It's also $14.99, so another really good value. Absolutely. Okay, so because raclette is a fattier cheese, one of the most perfect pairings with it would be anything sparkling. If you like champagne, go for it. I love this Cremant d'Alsace. So it's made with 100% Pinot Noir, but it's sparkling. So you'll have that fizziness on the palate that would just pair beautifully with the richness in the cheese. Lots of fruity notes. Think red fruits like strawberries and um, currant, but it's the bubbles that really pair nicely with the cheese. <laughs> Nobody I know. Um, so this is $17.99. So also a really great value. And think about this for Valentine's Day too. It's really pretty and it's romantic and fizzy and all the good stuff. So beer. As I said earlier, I am a beer drinker. Um, I would say there is not a bad beer to pair with Raclette. Maybe something really like a, an Imperial IPA I'd stay away from. Yeah, or a milk stout. <laughs> or yeah, or a milk stout or some sort of a porter. Think clean. So what I love and one of my favorite beers is Jaeger. This is a German Pilsner. It's very clean. Kind of the same idea as with the sparkling wine. The bubbles and the crispness and the high acid really just kind of uh, coats your palate and works really, really nicely with the richness of, richness of the cheese. So I love this beer, but Stella Artois is another really great one that would sort of have the same effect, or any domestic Pilsner. I always tell you guys, don't think that Riclet is just for you wine. You can crack open an old style and watch the bears. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Bud Light. Exactly. You want a Bud Light with Riclet? <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. All right, so we've been showing you how this huge implement melts Riclet, but how can you do it at home? So there's a couple of ways that you can do it. One of my favorites, and what I suggest, is this really terrific little tool called the Party Clef. And Robert's going to show you how to use it. But we sell this in all of our cheese departments. It's $19.99, so it's $5 less than what you'll find at some online retailers. So it's a really good bargain. Um, and Robert was just telling me that there's a 10-year warranty on it. So it pays for itself, basically. And if you love Riclet, this is a, a wonderful investment. So we're going to show you how to use this. Um, I'm going to just show you some of the ways you'll be buying Raclette at your neighborhood Heinen's. Um, we have it cut into wedges, so if you prefer to do this, knock yourself out. We also have it already sliced, which is really nice. So um, it's kind of, a, well now it's melted, no, it's fine. Um, it's about that thick, 
and it's perfect for melting. Um, whether you wanted to put it under your broiler or in the party cut, it's already sliced and ready to go. So Robert, why don't we show everybody Absolutely. how easy the party cut is? So, you know, as Shannon was saying, uh, Bosco is based out of Holland. They're an award-winning producer of cheese knives, raclanets, a myriad of different products specifically for cheese, as well as professional cheese mongers. The party cut itself, as Shannon was saying, has a 10-year warranty. Um, I believe you also have a full line of knives from us that are available. So you need a brie knife, a hard cheese knife, etc. They're all here available in the same warranty. Um, but the party cut um, essentially comes with 14 candles. Um, in the shop. Absolutely. And don't worry, they are not vanilla scented. They are unscented. <laughs> So it's hard to believe that these four little tea lights are going to heat that up enough to melt the cheese. The party cut is honestly my go-to tool for, for glamping if you're into the okay. outdoors. <laughs> um, the fact that it's four tea lights, uh, it's just so simple. And, yep. and honestly, this hard anodized tray can be put right onto the barbecue grill or the campfire, under okay. your boiler, just be aware of the wooden handle. Sure. Um, but this takes about two to three minutes to melt. I can see it's already melting mm -hmm. um, where it's a little bit thinner. And, and it's very versatile. It doesn't have to be specifically reclet either. So if Shannon, for instance, has a wonderful semi-soft cheese that she recommends that's a, a very good melting cheese, like say, for instance, Chihuahua and okay. doing nacho night, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of times when my wife makes nacho, she burns the tortilla chips under the broiler. This will prevent you from doing that. Okay. Uh, so essentially, once this starts to bubble and melt and break down, you can just pick the tray up and scrape it. And just it like comes with that, right? Yep, yeah, it, okay. it absolutely comes with a reclet, a scraper. A scraper. A versatile word. Yeah. <laughs> to um, not play. Exactly, exactly. Um, you know, as I said, this, this is just a wonderful device. It makes a great gift. Yeah. But also, if you've got a power outage, something of that nature, um, you can literally great break point. this thing open. Cool. Um, sometimes I like to hide in my office at home for my children. Yeah. Crack <laughs> open a bottle of apple yeah. ball and, yeah. you know, do a little email. I love it. Like Perfect. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe. I haven't used this before. And look at how it's bubbling. You can see it's right over top one of the tea lights. That is so cool. Okay, so we are just about ready to scrape from our party clad. So we're going to put it on top of the as asparagus, but Robert was just mentioning how perfect this is for dipping things into, like french fries. The Heinen's frozen french fries are so good, dipped right into that. Or even a tortilla chip, vegetables. So. It, it is one of my guilty pleasures. Now, I try to offset it by using the air cutter. So, and I'm <laughs> exactly. really not cheating. Yeah, but. exactly. <laughs> that's amazing how that's that becomes so liquefied just from tea lights. Absolutely. And, and I do suggest, too, that, you know, think of this tray on the party cut like a nonstick pan. Even though it yep. isn't, uh, it is hard anodized, you want to use something that's not going to damage the surface of sure. the, the actual tray. Well, Robert, thank you so much for showing us how we can have a reclet party, 10 people maximum, um, but how we can have a reflect party at home or for Valentine's Day if you wanted to have um, a romantic, fun, and different dinner. This was just really fun, and I know we've said this a couple of times already, but I really wish you could smell this. Um, this has been great, and you know, there are tons of ways to melt cheese, so if you don't have a party clet um, and you just want to improvise at home, Certainly talk to your neighborhood cheesemonger at your local Heinen's. We'd love to talk to you about our favorite ways to do it. Um, but I hope you learned a lot and that you got some great ideas. And we'll see you guys soon.